The sound design in music, in this shot in particular, is just, chef's kiss, it's so good. And this is where I'm like, I wonder where the story is going in all of this, because you have Zelda and Link journeying down into this like old cavern. And there's like this bridge, there's this kind of ruins of this place. And Ganondorf is sealed by this like glowing hand that's just like pressing down on him. See like this reveal, like right here, like that, that just like got me. Like seeing Ganondorf, I don't know. Like I feel like a lot of the older trailers for this game it looks like a hot take, but I feel like a lot of the older trailers for this game got me a lot more hyped for it, and now it's just kind of like, oh yeah, it's, it's coming, and it's kind of like nothing new. So all in all, I, I am excited for Tears of the Kingdom and what they're gonna be able to accomplish with this. I think it's gonna be really cool to see the world building in this game and to see the story. I think having a good story is super important for a Legend of Zelda game and it's really what got me super interested in Legend of Zelda is how well they can tell a story. And this trailer is a really good example of that, kind of having this back lore and stuff and this legend about a princess and a man. And I remember when this shot I don't know it's just cool to go back and like watch these but it's interesting how they have the blue tunic I wonder how that's gonna work into this story I really like the the green design going back to that like a warrior in green Legends Link. And th this was like with the announcement of the title, and it's just like, yeah, Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how it does and like how it's received. I really love a lot of the design, the mechanics that have been added in and how there's the sky world and how you can go through platforms and stuff. I think that's really cool. I just really hope that they do it justice and that it's not rushed. I think it was Mr. Miyamoto, there's a quote by him where he said, a delayed game eventually comes out, but a rush game that is bad because you rushed it or like even an animation a movie that's bad because you rushed it it's gonna be bad forever it's like the lightyear movie or some people with like frozen 2 like if you rush something if you don't put the loving care my servants into it it's like over you'll lose that this kingdom and her allies i don't know if i've seen this trailer no survivors the voice of Ganondorf is super cool. There was like this post by Andy J Pizza and he talked about like, after seeing the Mario movie, like to see another movie, like a Legend of Zelda movie, who would you want to see? And I was like, Jason Momoa would be a really cool voice for Ganondorf or just like the actor. And a lot of people want to see like Timothy Chalamet as Link, which is interesting. It has to be done right. That's, that's the huge thing. Yeah, I haven't seen this trailer. Link, I am not sure you'll be able to stop him. This is actually pretty good. It's the diamond in the rough. The cursed hand. It's a really interesting thing. They do that in like Voltron too. He has that cursed hand from um, the enemy. Two months ago, huh? 
I think it looks pretty good. Please lend him your power. Not lying, please lend him your power. It's like, who is Zelda talking to? Like, who is gonna lend him his power? Anyway, I'm excited for this. I hope you guys are too. Until next time, peace.